YouTube. Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to just kind of do a wavy look <clears throat> when your hair's already been, you know, either like you had it curled or you had it braided. I had mine braided today and I took the braids out and I was also wearing a hat. So the top of my hair is pretty flat, but I think it kind of goes with the look that I'm going to be doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically be creating soft waves throughout the head. So if you want to see how to do this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so basically what I'm just going to start with is just a curl yarn. This is an inch. Okay. You can use whatever curl yarn you want. It doesn't have to be a super duper expensive one or whatever. I'm using Connor. Cheap. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like. It's pretty wavy. Pretty. Not super, you know, but that's because I had it braided. So what we're going to do is create really soft waves throughout So the basically head. what you're going to do is I'm going to work on this side of my head first because this is my easier side, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. So I'm going to be looking into my mirror, so I don't mind if my eyes kind of wander off. So what I'm going to do is I want the top of my head to still be kind of flat. I don't want like a completely curly look. I want like a soft wave. So I'm just going to be taking my hair. You can grab any section. And I just want to start more towards the bottom of the hair rather than the top. And I'm just wrapping it around my curl yarn, if you guys can see that. I'm not actually opening up my clamp and putting it over there. Just kind of putting it at the bottom. And again, let me show you guys how that goes. So bottom of the curling iron wrapped around. See? Yeah. Okay, so I opened up my uh, shower curtains to see a little bit more light. Hopefully you guys can see that a little bit better. This is what it's starting to look like. So this is how it used to look. Really flat at the top and then just like waves at the bottom. This is really wavy throughout the whole head. But I didn't go too high up here because you still want this to have a little straightness. See how this is? I'm going to show you guys how I did it. <clears throat> okay, so it's straight. Taking the curling yarn, not even opening the clamp. Just taking the curling yarn, and you're not going all the way to, sorry, you guys can't see that. You're not going all the way to the tip. Just going right there, just to the bottom. See? And so this side is basically complete. I'm not going to add too much because I just want to have at least a little bit of a length to it. Because remember, curls make your hair shorter. Look how long the side of my head looks compared to this. Man, curls shorten your length. So remember that. So now I'm going to start on this side. Now when you're doing the opposite side, you're going to have to go in an opposite direction. I can't even go down and wrap around. Up here, what you're going to have to do, and I think I'm just going to switch my bangs over so I don't grab my bangs. I'm just going to safety pin, safety pin well, and then just bobby pin them over. Doo -doo. Okay, I know I look really weird right now, but whatever. Okay, so <clears throat> to do this, you're just going to take any random section. This side actually has a lot more hair since this is the side that my bangs are on. So what I'm going to do is just kind of section it off. That's what you could do with the whole head. Me, I'm more of like, I like it kind of like messy looking, so I'm not going to do the whole head, you know? And this one you're going to go up. Because you're on this side now, so you're going to go upwards. And if you guys can see that, no, no, no. And that's what you're going to do. Oh, wait. So I'm going to continue to do that throughout my head and I'll be right back to show you guys how to style off the things. Okay, welcome back. <clears throat> Gosh, I'm getting sick. Now I'm going to show you guys how to style the bangs. So since this look is a very wavy look, you don't want your bangs to be just flat to your head. So you want them to at least have a little bit of volume. So in order to create some volume in your bangs, what you're going to do is it's just basically like the teasing technique. You're going to take your bangs. You're going to, oh look, I see a straight piece. Hold on. I'm just going to, oopsie, see if that will kind of hold my hair back, which it really doesn't look like it's going to, but too straight. And just do that. There we go. Just cut the bangs. So we're going to take our bangs, and we're going to, um, <clears throat> basically tease them, but from the bottom, like, 
at the bank. It's the bottom of the bank, top bottom. So instead of doing like yeah, you tease here, you go back behind the hair. This one you're gonna go in front of the hair. And then basically it's just gonna add a little bit of volume to your bangs. I don't know if it's gonna do a fine today though. I'm being stubborn all day. I haven't clipped that. But if you need to add, you know, a touch of volume, that's how you would do it. Now, also I'm going to add a little bit of volume to the head itself, because doo -doo, you guys should know how I am. I don't like having, like, flat hair. It's just not my thing. So I'm just going to take a section and just begin back combing. Just like that. And just take some hair stuff. Do this in random sections. That's usually the best way to do it. Is to do random sections. And the cool thing about this is that your hair is cool. You're gonna get like or wavy, so you're gonna get these cool little waves everywhere. But I think that's why. Really cool. That's why you do the volume after you have already finished waving out your hair because you'll still get these cool waves everywhere. So I'm gonna do this side and then I'll do the back. And begin to randomly select an area for teasing. Just like that. Here's spray. Spray. This side has a little bit more straight pieces. That's okay. and begin to tease the back sections of our hair. Just a little pulling random sections. It's all good. So I'm just going to pull and tease. And then spray it. Push it down, not like down, just like that. And then take your hair and put it right over. The only reason why we don't want to do this is because you want something to kind of work as like a crown over the rest of that hair. And so, this is the look that you're going to get from just teasing. And I'll show you guys how to fix it up. Okay, so I'm going to try doing a little bit of volume in my bangs again. I realize that if you do it in a sections instead of the whole thing you can actually obtain that bounce. So let's do it from the sides. Yes, it looks fabuloso. Okay. So now just basically finish off the look. 